Hi friends and welcome to Storytime with Mrs. B. I'm Mrs. B and today we're going to read a story from our book Love Your Neighbor and it so happens that the name of our story today is Love Your Neighbor. Isa lived in a lovely hutch in a farm country. It was warm in the winter and the roof kept the rooms dry on rainy days. On the other side of the split rail fence lived Kobo who, unfortunately, wasn't as well off as his neighbor. Kobo's burrow was tiny, but he thought of it as cozy. While it wasn't exactly the warmest place to spend cold evenings, he felt it was good enough for him. Day after day, the two rabbits went to their fields to work. Isa worked the soil diligently. Luckily for him, his garden was very fertile. His lettuce sprouted large green leaves, and his carrots were as big as baseball bats. Kobo's ground wasn't so fertile. It was slightly sandy and full of rocks. No matter how hard he worked, Kobo managed to grow only enough to get by. His lettuce leaves were small and his carrots looked more like shriveled up pickles. One day, Isa went looking in his barn for an axe to cut down an overgrown bush. When he opened his toolbox, he found his hammer, his screwdriver, his nails, and his pliers. But his axe wasn't anywhere to be found. It was gone, Isa thought for a second. I know where that axe is, he said. Since Isa had a suspicious nature, he was certain that Kobo had taken his axe. Of course, Isa had no proof of this. Nevertheless, he was certain that his neighbor was a thief. As Isa worked, he looked across his field to spy on his neighbor. Whenever he saw Kobo, he became more convinced that he was right. That rabbit has the look of a thief. Thief, Isa muttered. Why, he hops like a thief, he holds his head like a thief, and his hands? Hello, Isa, Kobo called to him. Isa grumbled a reply. Hmm, he said to himself, he even talks like a thief. All summer long, Isa watched Kobo and grew angrier and angrier. As the days grew shorter and winter came, Isa sat by his fire and brooded. I'll catch that thief yet, Isa said. Yes, I will. The winter snow melted and the trees were once more green with leaves. It was spring, the season to work the field again. Isa took a hoe from his toolbox to till the soil. Still no axe, he muttered. While digging, Isa felt the blade of his hoe strike something hard. Bending over, he saw a bit of a steel sticking up from the soil. It was his axe! Isa suddenly remembered that he had left the axe in the field the year before. He had rushed into his house when a terrible rainstorm struck. The storm must have buried the axe in the muddy soil. Hi, Isa! Kabu called from across the way. Isa looked at his neighbor and thought, my, how he has changed. It was a funny thing. But Kabu no longer looked like a thief to Isa. His paws didn't look as if they were ready to snatch something that he didn't that didn't belong to him. Now Isa's neighbor appeared no different than any other rabbit. He hopped like a good rabbit and spoke decently too. Isa returned to his hutch, relieved to have such an honest neighbor. Some blame others for their own errors. Why do you think that Kabu? looked like a thief to Isa at one time, but then looked like an honest rabbit to Isa the following year? That's a good question. That was a really good story about Isa and Kabu. It makes me think about when I blamed other people for taking something that I misplaced myself. And then you know what you have to do? You have to go back and say, I'm sorry and apologize to that person because that's the right thing to do. Until next time, stay awesome and I'll see you real soon. Bye.